exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. Well, we've had a mild stretch. Now we're moving into a rainy stretch. We are and we kind of need it. And we kind of we kind of need it. We're in that first level of drought. You know, I know it seems like it's right. kind of been a little bit of a rainy summer. We're just talking about uh, not having to run the sprinklers too often for many of us here because we've had that rain year and it's also helped to keep our temperatures down just a touch and we have more showers and thunderstorms coming in and with that rain that we picked up this morning, we'll have a light wind overnight and that could set us up for some areas of fog to get your Tuesday morning started. So something to be aware of early tomorrow along with rain that'll be coming in. Also, we've got some kids heading back to school, so it might be a little slower for our Tuesday morning. And again, this is all part of a rainy pattern. So for the next few days, we'll see additional rounds of rain and thunderstorms as well. I do want to show you future scan and time out this next round coming in for our Tuesday. So the rest of today, things are looking quiet and dry for us. But as we head towards sunrise tomorrow morning, our next system, it's going to roll in from the west. In fact, let me go back to that and show you again here. It's going to come in from the west as we head into the early morning hours tomorrow. So, you know, we're just going to go ahead and skip that. But the main timeline, you're going to see it here in just a moment. It's going to primarily be between about 6, 7 a.m. through about 1 or 2 in the afternoon tomorrow. Now, between now and then for this evening, we'll see a few more breaks in the clouds. Our temperatures, which are in the upper 70s right now, will be back in the mid 70s by 8 o'clock, low 70s by 10. A few more breaks in the clouds, dry weather for the evening. So if you do have outdoor plans, going for a walk or bike ride, it looks fine. Now, let's look ahead over the next nine days. We will have several opportunities for rain and storms, and tomorrow, it's an impact day because we'll likely have that main round coming in during the morning, lasting through about midday. So there's that weather impact part of the forecast. And again, we've got some kids back in school. So just to be aware, it could slow us down for the uh, bus stops in the morning, the morning drive. Heading into the afternoon, we'll have lower chances for rain. So the highest rain chances are primarily lunchtime and earlier. For the afternoon, it's more spotty. Middle 70s again for tomorrow. Then as we head into our day on Wednesday, we could have another complex of rain and thunderstorms roll in. Now the bulk of this will likely fall early in the morning before sunrise. As we get into the afternoon, we'll see drier weather, but we could get a little bit of redevelopment as we head through our Wednesday evening. So we'll be monitoring for that. It'll be hotter on Wednesday. You're going to feel that difference. 89 for a high temperature. The humidity is going to be up there too. So we could be talking about heat index levels of 100 to 105. So Wednesday, not a very comfortable day, a slim chance of rain or storms early Thursday. Otherwise, heading into the weekend and next week, highs will mainly be in the middle and upper 80s, lows in the mid 60s, close to normal for this time of year. Next several days, though, the main weather headline, it'll be the rain, and you see it here. Between one to three inches of rain could fall between now and through Thursday afternoon.